A recent star-studded Hollywood movie carried a subtle but powerful spiritual message. Today, you'll meet the producer and get an insider's glimpse into the workings of the Hollywood film industry from a believer's perspective. That's just ahead on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, a program to help you to understand the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and world events surrounding Israel. Well, I'm wondering how many of you have seen the recent movie called The Identical. It's a captivating story about the struggles of a family, and they are trying to find the purpose and meaning in their life. And it's told in such a way that actually causes us that watch it to examine whether or not we are fulfilling our purpose in life, whether we're actually answering God's call, because God has a call on your life. Please welcome my good friend, Yochanan Marcelino. Good to be here. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming. I, I just want to begin by saying to you in front of everybody how proud I am for you and your families taking a stand. This was an entertaining film. You got Ashley Judd, uh, you got Ray Liotta. I want to talk about how that happened, but I want you to begin by telling us how did you get the idea for the movie? I think it's a brilliant plot, by the way, and I don't think critic, the critics understood it. No. But how did you uh, get the idea? We, uh, we were praying, uh, praying with my two sons, my family. Uh, my one son, Dustin, is the director of the film. My son, Jordan, was a co-producer. And uh, we Your were praying. Wrote my, most of the music. My, my father, this is truly a family endeavor. My father and I, you know, co-produced the music and, and, and co-wrote. And, and, uh, and you know, we, we came to a place uh, where we were praying that God would give us a, 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 an idea to develop that would... Uh, bring redeeming value to the world that would encourage people's lives uh, uh, to seek God uh, for what he might have in terms of their destiny and purpose. And uh, we, were, we were looking and praying and uh, this dropped right into our hands, this idea. Um, a guy by the name of uh, Wade Cummins uh, was the original uh, idea behind the identical. Uh, he's since become a real good friend of mine. Uh, love him to death, and uh, we took that original idea and uh, brought a writer in to collaborate with us. His name was Howard Klausner, uh, well known uh, in the faith world, and uh, we developed uh, the identical over uh, um, a couple year period of time. We'll talk about the theme because it, it's based on some actual truth. It takes some liberty and some license, as many movies do, but it's based on a true fact, which we'll, I'll, I'll get into in a little while. Okay. But just the names that you were able to get for this. Ashley Judd, wow, Ray Liotta. These are secular artists that are known for, for major, major secular films. Yeah. Uh, how, how in the world did you attract people of this caliber? Seth Green, and so on. Well, you know, uh, Proverbs 16, 9 says, the mind of a man plans his way, and the Lord directs his steps. And so we made a plan and uh, asked the Lord to direct that ste those steps. And uh, part of that was to make uh, a, a quality film that would be at the highest level of Hollywood in terms of quality, that would have a redeeming value message that would touch people's lives, and uh, there would be no compromise in, in, in going after this at the highest level. I want you to talk a little bit about the struggle because we're dealing with two kingdoms, the kingdom of this world and the kingdom of God, and they are in constant conflict, and you walked into that battle in a huge way. Talk about that. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we, we, we didn't set out to do a faith-based film. When you think of faith-based, you might think of something like Fireproof or God's Not Dead, very, very right. clearly set. We, were, we, we wanted something that was faith-friendly, you know, where we could uh, express our faith in it, but we also wanted something that was family-friendly and something that could really reach out uh, and bring that message forward. And... Uh, 
Uh, it definitely created a lot of opposition. Uh, there was no doubt about it. Our publicists told us, I have never seen a movie in all my life that has been attacked at the juggler vein, as was the word she used, as the identical. And uh, and so, uh, yeah, I think well, the I remember the was Passion a- of the Christ just really brought this to a head. And it was actually turned for good, I think, by all the publicity. Absolutely. But you came against that same spirit of the world, I think, typified in Hollywood that really tried to crush this thing. Yeah, the, the, the reviews were uh, uh, right, out, right out of the box. No critic liked this film at all. I think we got a 2% uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. It was like one of the lowest scores I've ever heard of. Uh, they attacked the, the acting. They attacked the story. They attacked the music. They attacked everything you could imagine. And uh, yet the, the, uh, the public uh, uh, was at like 78%, you know, versus 2%. It was a spiritual battle, and you fought through it, and there's great things ahead. We have to take a break. When we come back, I want to talk about the impact that this movie had on these famous Hollywood A-list actors and about the the theme of the movie itself. It's really an incredible film. Also, we're going to be talking about a tribe, listen to this now, who claim to be descendants of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Is it possible? You're going to find out in a moment. But first, here's some important information. Don't go away. Your gracious gift in support of the work of Jewish Voice right now will make you a vital part of providing life-saving medical help to some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. This care opens the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is their true Messiah. Today, we are urgently preparing for one of our next medical clinics to bless a remote Lost Tribes community in Zimbabwe, the Lemba, who consider themselves descendants of the priestly tribe of Levi, and who have been practicing distinctly Jewish customs for centuries. We go with a powerful sense of urgency because we know that time is literally running out for many of the most vulnerable there, especially infants and toddlers, and that without our help, Some of these precious sons and daughters of Abraham will die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. But you can help save them, but we must act now. Call or click to share life-saving help right now, and we'll send you two very special resources as an expression of our thanks. For any gift of support, we'll send you The Identical on DVD, the inspiring movie discussed on today's broadcast. It's a captivating story with a hopeful, redemptive theme woven throughout and it will challenge you to examine your own life and your call from God. Plus, you'll receive the encouraging teaching by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus called A Hope and a Future. As you listen, you'll discover secrets of the Hebrew language that will help you understand the depth and the power of God's promise for your future and to rejoice in complete confidence in the goodness of His purpose in your life. Both are yours when you share any gift in support of the life-changing outreaches of Jewish Voice. And if God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $150 or more today, we want to send you a beautiful sculpture depicting an Israeli soldier praying at Jerusalem's Wailing Wall. It will make a moving and meaningful addition to your home or office while reminding you to pray for the people of Israel. Finally, as an ongoing expression of our thanks for choosing to help so many in need, you'll also receive our illuminating and inspiring magazine, Jewish Voice Today. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people. To share an urgently needed gift in support of this vital outreach and request your thank you resources, please call, click, or write now. And remember, your generous gift will make you a part of extending life-saving medical help to some very needy Jewish people. Please remember, the days are short and the needs of these people are critical. Please act now. A recent star-studded Hollywood movie carried a subtle but powerful spiritual message. Today, you'll meet the producer and get an insider's glimpse into the workings of the Hollywood film industry from a believer's perspective. 
That's just ahead on Jewish Voice. I'm speaking with Yochanan Marcelino. He is the executive producer of a new film that's just now coming out on DVD called The Identical. Ray Liotta, Ashley Judd, Seth Green. It's an A-list of actors. I want to talk about how the film influenced them, but tell us the premise of the movie. I think it's just a brilliant idea, and I don't think the critics understood. So talk about the theme of The Identical. Uh, in a nutshell, it's, uh, it's about two identical twin brothers. Um, that were born during the Great Depression. Uh, the conditions were so bad, uh, no work, no food, uh, that uh, one, one of the, uh, the, the father felt like he heard God say, you need to give away one of your children uh, to a pastor and his wife uh, to have a better life. Obviously, you, um, when you, one brother is, it ends up becoming very famous and you obviously make the connection with him and Elvis Presley. They look alike, and he's, so you get the idea, this is Elvis, and if you go back and look at the facts, Elvis did have a brother, twin brother, right, who died at birth. It's not about Elvis Presley, yet some have said it, that it's kind of like an alternate universe in, in some way, because our lead actor, first-time actor, uh, Blake Rain, uh, strikingly, looks a lot like Elvis. Uh, has he done a DNA test, for goodness sake? <laughs> I met the guy, and it's just, it's uncanny. And he sounds like Elvis, he looks like Elvis. But let's talk about not only the faith component, but you slipped in the restoration of Jerusalem and the victory, Israel's victory in the Six-Day War. And then Ray Liotta actually preaches about it and says we have to love Israel. You know, he's, uh, during the Six-Day War, he, uh, as a pastor here in the U.S. in Tennessee, uh, he challenges uh, when Israel's just about ready to be attacked and, 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 and wiped out by world opinion uh, at that time, he's, he's preaching and telling his congregation that you need to love what God loves, and did God loves his chosen people. Did you think that that would... would the critics would pick that up and be critical of that? Well, you or? know, I, we were in the 1967 in the movie, so we felt like we were in good shape uh, from the standpoint of, of a period piece, you know? That, w that was a significant thing that happened in 67, but uh, they did jump on that, you know? That expressed your messianic identity and your love for Israel. Let, right. Let's take a look at the clip. It's 855 and 70 degrees, the weather after the news. The big news, war broke out in the Middle East this morning. It has spread now to the Israeli port city of Haifa on the Mediterranean. Syria said its planes bombed the Haifa oil refinery, leaving it in flames. Three Israeli planes were shot down in a dogfight with Jordanian jets. Three Syrian MiGs attacked the city of Megiddo. In other news... What does that have to do with the Christian church in the state of Tennessee? Everything! It has to do with everything! We are commanded by the word of God to give him no rest from our prayers. For who? Today for Israel. Our precious Lord and Savior was himself a Jew. If we love God, we must love what God loves. And God loves his chosen people. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I've symbolically lit the eight candles of the Hanukkah menorah. God's people need that Hanukkah miracle again. Israel won the war. <laughs> We were, we, were, we were, for those of you who know this, we were felling when we watched that for the first time. And the critics did not like that. I, I noticed they really caught that. But you got that message through, and it was heard. Amen. It was heard. Good job. Thank you. So talk to me about the impact that the movie had on people like Ashley Judd. You were talking to me about the effect with, that it had on Ray, a profound effect. So talk, talk a little bit about that uh, well you know Ray Liotta from 
Goodfellas and it's hard to listen and, to uh, Mr. Goodfellas talking yeah. about standing with Israel. I'm, I'm, it's it's. But uh, but no, Ray uh, uh, told me it really awakened you know uh, the spiritual side of his life, and uh, he read the Bible uh, in preparing for his role as uh, as a preacher. Um, prayed, asked God. He he clearly says, uh, uh, ask God to work through me as I'm acting. He he asked for that. Yes, he and, did. Wow. And that's actually there's that's... a there's a a clip on that uh, that uh, that where he talks about that and and uh, it was amazing to see uh, God at work in his life. And I think that. The other actors and actresses, everybody uh, had shared there was a sense being on the set with us where people sensed God, sensed his presence, uh, were treated differently uh, than they've ever been treated before. Uh, we had nothing but positive input not the only, entire Not time. only were they positive, but you had some miracles. You had the obstacles, but you had miracles too. Tell us one miracle that happened. Wow. Uh, I don't know where to begin. I mean, I feel like every day uh, was was a miracle there. But uh, I, I think just the the idea that uh, this was our first film. I'm a music guy um, uh, that uh, went into the film industry, and I think to be able to uh, really accomplish, you know, a major motion picture that was a wide release. Uh, overall, I feel like uh, was a miracle from every aspect of it. This movie was really, um, uh, I'm trying to think of a clean, proper word to use. It, it was just undercut by the critics. I think it was a spiritual attack against the film. They were outright mean. They didn't understand the film, and it just didn't get a lot of attention. People that you expected people to go, believers to go, and it just wasn't, there wasn't a good showing. Right. So the film is in the red right now, but the DVD is about to come out. And I want to encourage everyone that's watching to get this DVD the identical. Let me tell you why. You'll love it. It's, just, it's really an enjoyable film, but it's also faith-filled and it's encouraging. And it shows the, the struggle that someone who wants to follow God goes through in finding themselves, and in the end, you know, it, it's it's just a great ending. I'm not going to tell you the ending, but I really want to I, I want to give the enemy a black eye here, and I want to see this thing through the DVD sales just go through the roof. Thank you, Jonathan. I just want to point out that uh, not only is this a pro-Israel film, but it's pro-biblical worldview on many different levels. I mean, it's. It's honoring your father and your mother, honoring marriage, uh, honoring faithfulness in ministry over 40 years in this particular case. We have so many things that we have, we have, uh, we have touched on in this film, and uh, we feel like uh, it's going to be a blessing to all who see it. Well, I think it's just fun, too. It's a fun, thought-provoking, challenging film, and I really want to applaud you and your family for making this. Thank you, brother. You open on Marcelino, everyone. This is a great film, and I'll tell you what, you get the DVD, you watch it, and you'll, you'll thank me for encouraging you to get it. It's not a faith-based film, it, but it's a values-based film with an important message, and uh, I, I really encourage you again to, to get this. It's, it's up there with top secular films. They, 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 they made this to Hollywood standards, and I want to encourage you to get this incredible movie. It'll challenge you. You'll examine your own life and relationship with God. The music is also absolutely great. And, and it'll it comes make out great on DVD, Blu-ray, VOD, Redbox, and goes on from there to Netflix. And So and get so. the identical. Well, next, did King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba really have children and are they living today in the land of Cush? I believe the answer is yes, and they need our help. Take a look.
Your gracious gift in support of the work of Jewish Voice right now will make you a vital part of providing life-saving medical help to some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. But our medical teams provide more than just physical care and comfort. This care opens the door for us to share God's love and the good news that Jesus is their true Messiah. Today, we are urgently preparing for one of our next medical clinics to bless a remote Lost Tribes community in Zimbabwe, the Lemba, who consider themselves descendants of the priestly tribe of Levi and who have been practicing distinctly Jewish customs for centuries. We go with a powerful sense of urgency because we know that time is literally running out for many of the most vulnerable there, especially infants and toddlers, and that without our help, some of these precious sons and daughters of Abraham will die needlessly for lack of basic medical care. But you can help save them, but we must act now. Call or click to share life-saving help right now, and we'll send you two very special resources as an expression of our thanks. For any gift of support, we'll send you The Identical on DVD, the inspiring movie discussed on today's broadcast. It's a captivating story with a hopeful, redemptive theme woven throughout and it will challenge you to examine your own life and your call from God. Plus, you'll receive the encouraging teaching by Rabbi Jonathan Burnus called A Hope and a Future. As you listen, you'll discover secrets of the Hebrew language that will help you understand the depth and the power of God's promise for your future and to rejoice in complete confidence in the goodness of His purpose in your life. Both are yours when you share any gift in support of the life-changing outreaches of Jewish Voice. And if God has blessed you with the means to share a gift of $150 or more today, we want to send you a beautiful sculpture depicting an Israeli soldier praying at Jerusalem's Wailing Wall. It will make a moving and meaningful addition to your home or office while reminding you to pray for the people of Israel. Finally, as an ongoing expression of our thanks for choosing to help so many in need, you'll also receive our illuminating and inspiring magazine, Jewish Voice Today. Please remember, God has promised to bless those who bless the Jewish people. To share an urgently needed gift in support of this vital outreach and request your thank you resources, please call, click, or write now. And remember, your generous gift will make you a part of extending life-saving medical help to some very needy Jewish people. Please remember, the days are short and the needs of these people are critical. Please act now. One Jewish community that many of you have helped us to reach out to is the Beta Israel, the House of Israel in Ethiopia. These Ethiopian Jews, and they're the poorest of the poor, hope to one day go to Israel, but in the meantime, they're suffering in severe poverty, desperate for help. Jewish Voice now holds three outreaches there every year to provide medical care, dental care, eye care, even eye surgeries, all completely free of charge. But most importantly, we tell them about Yeshua. Here's a close look at the Beta Israel, the House of Israel in Gondar, Ethiopia. This is the life of Wakaya Gedi. Today, she's making the difficult journey over the hilly and dusty roads of Gondar dodging cars, goat herds, and crowds of people, a hike that will take her an hour and a half on blistered feet. But she's heard about the clinic, and it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get the medical attention she desperately needs, having endured abdominal pain brought on by complications during pregnancy. This will be the very first time she sees a physician. Dr. Lawrence is an emergency room doctor from Dallas, he wants to check her heart and lung functions to assess her overall health. Now treating her for her pain, but uh, she's going to need to go to the GYN for a continued workout. Dr. Fajardo from Columbia is a specialist at the clinic and was able to give her an ultrasound on site to aid in her diagnosis. It's the very first medical treatment of such she has ever received, and she is most likely unaware of the important role it plays in her health care. Hearing the good news of Yeshua, the spiritual counseling she receives is perhaps the first time she is told that while she has been abandoned, she is not forgotten or alone. 
that God sees her plight and is reaching out to her even this very day through these volunteers acting as the hands and his feet of Yeshua. We'd love to have you join us on one of our future medical outreaches. To volunteer, you can email us at outreach at jvmi.org. Again, that's outreach at jvmi.org. The we'll Lemba, right a lost tribe of Israel, discovered in the remote regions of Zimbabwe. DNA proves that they are descendants of the priestly tribe of Aaron. Practicing their Jewish faith for thousands of years, not knowing their long-awaited Messiah has come and will come again. And the Jewish Voice Outreach Team has the privilege of sharing this amazing good news with them through our outreaches in Zimbabwe. It's amazing. Come witness this miracle. Be an important part of God at work in these last days, gathering His people back to Himself. We need volunteers urgently for this outreach, medical professionals, prayer partners, and practical service volunteers as we minister to thousands of very needy and spiritually hungry people in just one short week. Come with us and help these desperate Jewish people. Say yes to being God's hands and feet. Please answer the call. Since 1967, Jewish Voice has been dedicated to proclaiming the good news that Yeshua, Jesus, is Messiah and Savior to the Jew first and also to the nations. Now, one way that we do this is by helping some of the most impoverished and needy Jewish people in the world. We actually demonstrate God's love by providing these people with medical care, with eye care, with dental care, even eye surgeries, and it's all completely free of charge. But most importantly, we share the gospel. We tell them about Yeshua, Jesus, and we're making an eternal difference in their lives. I'm asking you today to help. I'm asking you to play a role in saving lives, in transforming lives, and blessing desperate Jewish people and Ethiopians. And you can do this by sharing a generous gift. So I encourage you to do whatever you can do. And if you can help us to help them, we have some very special ways of saying thank you today. I've selected some helpful and encouraging resources that I want to send you. You can call, click, or write now to share and you can request these gifts. And remember, it's your generous support that will help us to help some of the most impoverished and needy people in the entire world. So thank you. Hey, by the way, we're on Facebook. You can check us out by going to facebook.com slash Jewish Voice. Well, we're out of time. As I leave you today, I want to remind you, and I do this on every program, it's important to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We're exhorted to do that in Psalm 122, 6. And we're told that if we pray for the peace of Jerusalem, we will prosper. They shall prosper, the scripture says, that love thee. So pray today for the peace of Jerusalem in Israel. Until next time, this is Jonathan Bernas saying shalom and God bless you. Jewish Voice is made possible by the support of friends and partners like you. 